Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sleepless Ninja. Today we're going to continue on our journey of modifying our user interface. As you can see, if you've been following along, my user interface has jumped a complete different color. Well, basically, 3.1 came out, I didn't back up my user interface, and I lost everything, so I decided, hey, why not start with a different color? So, if you've been following, not much has changed. I still use the minimalist text. I still use Circle Launcher. I'm still using a similar background, just a different color scheme. So all of those pieces are in place, and we can continue on modifying the user interface. The next thing on our docket is actually change these icons and images and everything. Now, instead of doing it piece by piece individually and showing you that, I'm going to just use a theme. This is very simple and so for everyone to use. So, and it's much better than customizing each piece. I will go into how to customize in each and every piece, but to get the general idea, let's go and use a custom theme that someone already has spent a lot of time in and done. So we're going to look at Big DX Zoom theme. And um, basically there are um, one requirement which is the uh, Big Rush dog mod for the Clockwork Recovery um, and if you don't have if you're not going to use Clockwork Recovery you can do it with just ADB but I want to do it with the, clo uh, the Clockwork Recovery I have a video on how to install it definitely follow it it's very very easy to do this also is easy to do but for those who are not fans of the terminal this is much more simpler so I have a 3G zoom and I want to do the blue with the 3.1 so I'm going to download that so I'm going to save time since it's already downloaded and I already have it I'm going to now start up clockwork recovery And so now the zoom is going to reboot into clockwork recovery mode. There's also a command that you have to do if you are connected to your computer. This is a simple, no need for a computer. And you can see now we're given the options. I'll zoom in for everyone so they can see a little bit better. So basically what we want to do is we want to install zip from SD card. Um, we use the volume to go up and down and then the power button to select and we want to apply an SD card update does zip no you want to choose zip from the SD card so I, the first one is actually to install a uh, kernel but we don't want to we want to actually select you can see there it is big DX zoom blue 3G 3.1 I'm going to just select that and we're going to scroll down and click yes and it's really this simple you can see now it's doing the update process. And all done. So all we have to do is go back, select it with the power, and reboot system now. Just ninja speeding through the boot up process, no need to look at a still image for 40 seconds. You can see this also installs a boot up. The author of this theme has multiple boot up animations, so feel free to check out his thread that is linked uh, for more animations. You can see down here there's some changes. You can see the locks changed, a little bit different. And you can see the wallpaper is still intact, which is always nice. And here we go. We have the Google toolbars changed. You can see the arrows, the home key. You can see our settings changed. It's now a little glowier. It actually works really, really well. 
with this theme. You can see some buttons are changed. Everything's a lot more glowy and flashy and very, very much that goes along with this theme um, that we have with our background. All the setting icons have been updated. Overall, very, very cool. Um, if we were to go to a web page, the apps tray, just trying to show you as many things as possible, the widgets. But overall, we've now transformed our user interface. We went from a very stock, bland user interface to something that has this wallpaper that kind of becomes a part of your user interface when you're using the cir excuse me, circle launcher. You have the minimalist text, which really adds that additional information on personalization. And you have this theme that adds some nice glowing effects and also complements rather well the Zoom user interface. Well, thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed this journey on renovating the Zoom user interface and making it custom to your look and style. I hope you could take the tutorials on the minimalist text, the Circle Launcher Pro, this theming, and really create your own user interface, but also feel free to copy mine directly. I have no problem with that. Please like this video if it helped you. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.